Hi, welcome to Healthy Safety video. This time I'd like to share with you an LNG leak incident from an LNG plant at the future time valve. The incident occurred during train F construction when a contractor was trying to replace a leaking tie-in valve at train E LNG rundown line during a shutdown. Location of the tie-in valve is uh, right there. The tie-in valve is located at train E LNG rundown line. And LNG inside the LNG London line was pushed into the LNG tank 1 using process gas. The, the valve was known had been leaking. And the line was considered empty when there is a slight increase in LNG tank 1 pressure. The decision was taken to remove the flange cover of the tie-in valve. Before connecting the new rundown line, the leak got worsened. It got worsened every four hours. The leaking continued every four hours from the time. LNG vapor cloud traveled, approaching train D. All the electrical power supply to train D and train E were shut down to avoid ignition. Water curtain was applied to contain the vapor cloud traveling. It was at the midnight when we heard a loud bang from the train E area. And because the lighting had been turned off, no one knew what had happened. Considering the leaking frequency every four hours based on our observation, we decided to replace the leaking valve with a new one during no leak. The valve replaced successfully in the morning and the leak stopped. So what happened? This is our analysis with uh, an animation to make it easy to understand. During blowing using process gas from train E LNG rundown line toward LNG tank 1, some of the liquid LNG remain left inside the pipe wall, like this one. And when the gas blowing stops, liquid LNG start to accumulate at the low points inside the pipe. Because of the heat in leak, liquid LNG at the low point vaporized. And when in vapor phase, the volume increased 600 times. So the pressure at the low points of the pipe increased significantly and pushed liquid LNG toward the leaking tie-in valve as well as to the LNG tank one. And LNG leak from the valve initially vaporized quickly and dispersed in the air. Then the surrounding becomes colder and the liquid LNG eventually reach the ground.
liquid LNG reached the ground and entered into the water sewer line. And inside the water sewer system, liquid LNG contacted with water. Liquid LNG immediately vaporized due to high temperature differential. As we know, the LNG temperature is minus 160 approximately Celsius, while water temperature 25 degrees Celsius. So there is a differential pressure about 185 degrees. This phenomenon is known as RPT, rapid phase transition. LNG vapor very quickly filled up the space of the water sewer system. As the space is limited, the pressure inside the sewer increased very quickly. And gas accumulated in the sewer system eventually had overpressure. After the incident, we found the concrete slab was torn and part of them flew off the ground. The fractionation system pipe rack severely damaged. It took one month to fix the damage plan. Fortunately, there was no engine injury. There was no one inside train A at that time because the light has been turned off. So what are the lessons learned? First, free hydrocarbon confirmation by relying on tank pressure indication only is inadequate. You need also to check pipe temperature. So the temperature has already rise above minus 80. You can be sure that there is no liquid LNG inside. And we need to be aware of the remaining liquid LNG in the pipe when we are sweeping with gas. Beware also with liquid LNG accumulation at the low points after the sweeping. We should always avoid LNG to be directly contact with the water inside a confined space. And lastly, make sure we have a good control of ignition sources. If, if, if there is any gas or liquid LNG leak.